I'm back with another homemade squishy update video and I have a ton more squishies to show you today that I've made over the past week or so and a lot of these squishies are jumbo so get ready for some awesome squishy action. All of the squishies you are about to see are available on my store envy which is linked down below as always so if you see anything that you love today please feel free to go check them out for yourselves on my store. Without further ado let's get started. We'll kick things off with this jumbo donut that I made and this is actually a wrapper that had a cookie in it from a hotel I stayed at and I just put my labels all over it and here is the donut. This donut was actually inspired by the new Cafe DN donuts and I thought this one was definitely the cutest and I wanted to try to make it for myself. It's really soft and slow rising. And it has like a buttercream glaze or frosting with a chocolate swirl and a chocolate center. I love it. Next up is this jumbo pop tart squishy and I actually made this into a phone case for my Galaxy X6. X6? Ugh, S6. I made this for my Samsung S6 phone and I can't show it to you on my phone because I'm using my phone to film obviously, but it has white frosting and pink, blue, and green sprinkles which are actually glass beads and it has a kawaii face and I love wearing this on my phone because it's so squishy. These next two squishies are probably my favorite two homemade squishies that I've made so far. And it is a mini and jumbo taiyaki fish ice cream cone. Leave me a like if you really want to try these in real life like I do, because they look so delicious. Here is the mini one, and the packaging was actually made from a makeup remover wipe package. You know, you pull them out like tissues and you can remove your makeup with them. Well, when I used them up, I decided to cut out the front, cover it with plastic, and turn it into a wrapper because I thought it was really cute. And I made this Squishy Marmoto Taiyaki label to go with it. Here it is out of the packaging and this is the mint flavored ice cream. I have a ton of different flavors on my website for the mini and jumbo. Everything from vanilla to chocolate to rainbow sherbet and Neapolitan. So definitely go check those out if you're a fan of these Taiyaki fishes. So squishy. Next is the jumbo one and I just made a really simple wrapper for it out of some cardboard. And here is a bigger version of that sticker. And this is the grape flavored ice cream. And here's the squishy out of the packaging. It is huge. Definitely one of the bigger ones I've made. And the most difficult for sure because cutting these out, let me tell you, was a task. I really love how these turned out. They're super squishy. Next we have is this cute little glow-in-the-dark chocolate donut, kind of flipped around in the packaging. And I cannot remember what this packaging was from, but I just repurposed it like I did the other ones and put my labels on it. And this is a chocolate cupcake with pink, blue, and green sprinkles and chocolate sprinkles, glow-in-the-dark frosting, and a blue cup. And this is it out of the packaging. Oh, it's still trying to rise a bit. For some reason, the cup part is unbelievably slow rising. The top is too, but not as much. It's so crushed up. All right, let me show you guys. This cupcake, in fact, glows in the dark. Next are a bunch of peach squishies and in my last video I showed you an orange and yellow peach as well as a pink peach. Well I liked them so much I decided to make a bunch more. 
I made another yellow peach, but instead of putting orange on the tips of it this time, I put pink. And I also made new fruit tags for these jumbo squishies, which I think are super cute. And it's out of packaging here. Oh, I forgot how soft this one is. It's unbelievably soft. It's so squishy. Here is the green peach, and these are boxes that I actually got on vacation. I ordered some trinkets from a souvenir store and they packed them in these little cute boxes. So I just cut out a side of them and put some plastic in the front to make them viewing boxes. And here is the green peach. I guess you could consider this a peach that's not ripe yet. I just wanted to make something that was a little different, a little funky. I think it turned out super cute. So slow. And finally is the purple peach. I guess this could be a plum as well. Again, I just wanted to make something kind of funky. And purple is my all time favorite color. So I had to make a peach that was purple. Next is this jumbo sub sandwich. And this was actually made from another piece of reject foam that I had. It was the very end of the mold. And as you can see, there was a big bubble in it. And it was just not very pretty. It's not very slow rising. And I didn't know what to do with it, but it was such a big piece of foam. I didn't want to just throw it away. So I cut it in half, put these notches in it, and voila, we have a sandwich. It also has the new custom tag. And this sandwich has ham, cheese, tomato, and lettuce on it. And I swear, it makes me so hungry just looking at it. Here it is out of the packaging. And I have to say, I'm really proud of this little reject piece of foam because it is so soft. It feels like real sandwich bread. Ugh. In my last update video, I believe I showed you two jumbo strawberries. I think one was just a plain red one and one was dipped in chocolate. Well, I love them so much, I made a ton more, including some mini ones. So. I'll start with the little ones. I'm actually really proud of this packaging. Believe it or not, this was a cherry tomato container from the grocery store. And I thought it was really neat and that I could use it for something. And sure enough, I could. I kept the label too. It says peel here to let us out. And I put two cute little strawberries in there. Here's the first one. It's just a plain mini pink strawberry and it's actually still quite large in terms of how strawberries are in real life, but in terms of my jumbo strawberries, I would consider these mini. And they're so soft. And here's the red one. Again, just plain with the leaves. And painting on all of these seeds took so much time and patience. But I think it was well worth it. Yeah. The other mini strawberry that I made is this pine berry. And I had no idea that these berries were actually a thing until Punimaru made them. And they're actually a albino strawberry. But I thought it was super cute and I wanted to make it for myself. And this one is dipped in white chocolate. I actually attached the tag to this squishy. I found some really cute baker's twine that is pink and white striped. I don't know if you can see it, but it matched the strawberry perfect. So I decided to attach it to it with the tag. And this one is so cute. I 
definitely think out of all of my strawberries, the pine berries are my favorite. Okay, now for the jumbo strawberries. I have a jumbo plain pine berry and a jumbo pink strawberry dipped in pink chocolate. Here is the pink one. As you can see, it is quite huge and it has its own custom tag as well. I really like how this one turned out. I just wish I could find a way to scent them. Because other than that, I think it's pretty much perfect. And finally, here is the plain pine berry. Same tag. So squishy. This one feels like no other squishy that I have. I actually used a different kind of fabric paint on this one. I found some puffy paint at the dollar store and I usually buy my paint from Walmart, but I decided to give this one a try. And it has a very gooey and kind of sticky finish, but it leaves the squishy feeling so soft. So hey, I might be using it more in the future. Okay guys, I only have one more squishy to show you in this update, but it is the biggest squishy in this entire video, so brace yourself. Oh, please fit in the frame. Oh, it is this jumbo loaf of bread, and I've showed you in a previous video my jumbo French loaf bread. Well, this one is Italian. And this is actually a bread bag from the grocery store that I put my labels on. I think it turned out super cute. Wow. And here it is out of the packaging. It actually looks like a giant hot dog, maybe? Maybe a hot dog bun? But I really like how this turned out. I used that same dollar store paint on it. And I'm so glad I did because it made it feel like moist and gooey like a real piece of bread. It's super slow rising. Ugh, if only it smelled like real bread. Well guys, that was everything in this update video. I can barely get my hands in the screen because there are so many squishies in front of me. Like I said before, all of the squishies you've seen in this video are available on my store Envy right now, so if you saw anything that you loved, feel free to go check them out for yourself. If you saw anything that you liked, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and a comment telling me which ones were your favorites. Again, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay squishy, y'all. Bye!